Hello, welcome to our channel. In today's video we'll discuss and show the censorship and removal of a controversial banner exposed on the Documenta 15. Documenta is an exhibition of contemporary art which takes place every five years in Castle. It was founded in 1955 to be a documentation of modern art which was not available to the German public during the Nazi era due to the strong censorship taken by the German government at that time. Germans are proud of the exhibition, and it's known for being one of the biggest of the world. However, there are rumors that say the participants are often not publicized before the opening of the exhibition. Documenta 13 official artists list wasn't released until the day of the show's inauguration. On the night of May 27, an ad hoc art gallery set to host the question of funding by a Palestinian art collective was vandalized. Someone had scribbled on the walls, words as 187 and Peralta, what was allegedly a reference to California's penal code for murder and a reference to Isabel Medina Peralta, the leader of a Spanish youth group. Documenta filed a criminal complaint following the vandalism act, and artists and organizers curating Documenta 15 issued a statement of support for Ruin Group of the Indonesian collective curating the show. The statement claimed that the collective was erroneously accused of anti-Semitism. Documenta 15 opening took place on June 18. On the Monday, June 20, an 18 square meters painted banner called People's Justice was covered. On the Tuesday, June 21, Documenta 15 curators said they would remove a work because it triggers anti Semitic readings due to an outcry from diplomats and other entities. As we can see in our images, the banner was removed, but photographs of the work can still be found on the internet. One of the figures that originated the outcry was a man with side locks and fangs, wearing a hat emblazoned with a Nazi emblem, the SS from Schutzstaffel, the organization most responsible for the genocidal murder of millions of Jews and other victims during the Second World War. And the other one was a soldier with a pig's head, wearing a Star of David neckerchief and a helmet with Mossad, the name of Israel's security service written on it. Other figures on the work could be identified as members of the MI5 and the KGB. At 8.35 p.m. of Tuesday, June 21, Documenta 15 organizations scouted by the security started to remove the censored banner. When they were about to finish the removal of the controversial banner, there were in one side a small group of people who started to applause. In another side there was one other group which was booing the removal and screaming shame. Apparently, to show the disapproval against documented censorship, people started to scold the sentence, bring the puppets home, and following that, to remove the puppets exposed by Documenta from the Garden of Friedrichs Platz. While some reinvented Documenta's art exhibition, some others started to pile puppets in the middle of the square. <laughs> You can take it move. You can take the pocket move. You can take it 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 move. You
The demonstration for disapproval of documented 15 censorship goes further, and someone tries to set the pile of puppets on fire. The person who tried was first stopped by the general population and detained by the police force following the attempt. Hey. Let's take it home. Take it home. Give it shelter. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. While some people kept piling up puppets while singing to demonstrate their opinions, some others took serious the idea of taking the puppets home. The police force was present the all time and maintained the order among the protests, which ended up without further incidents. What do you think? Antisemitism is to be hostile, prejudice towards, or discrimination against Jews. Is this arguable banner anti-Semitic and shall it be censored and removed? In another hand, art is the manifest of opinions and critics since early days, and just plummeted since it found freedom of speech. Is this censorship by Documenta 15, a threat against art freedom of speech? Let us know what do you think in the comments, and leave a like to support our independent work. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.